guys, here today in this video, I'm gonna share with you not one stock, not three stocks, not five stocks, not 10 stocks, but 20 stocks that I believe are great deals in this awful, nasty stock market we are in right now, which by the way, it's an awful, nasty stock market. It depends on kind of perception, right? If you're a buyer of stocks, you should probably love this market. If you're a seller of stocks, you should probably hate this market, right? And if you're somebody that feels insecure, you might wanna, you know, your account balance say a certain number, like this is probably not your favorite stock market to be going through. But if you're a buyer, stocks this is a perfect stock market to take advantage of and so i'm going to share with you 20 stocks that i believe are actually great deals in the market right now and this is a fun video i'd love to come back to this video in like three years because i would almost bet money well i probably am betting money on a lot of these stocks that uh literally almost every single one of these stocks will be dramatically higher in three years from now than where these stocks are at here today as of recording this video so i hope you guys really enjoy this make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button if you enjoy a video like this where i talk about individual stocks i know right now with the market being crazy it's very easy to make videos about the market being crazy so if you really enjoy me talking about individual stocks stocks i think are great deals and things like that make sure you smash the thumbs up button and these stocks in my opinion are all great deals not like oh these are okay deals right now oh these are good deals no no if you're a long-term investor in my opinion all these stocks are actually great deals okay by the way just before we get into this guys i just want to let you know for those of you who've been wanting to take advantage of the huge private group sale it is now officially going on it will be the pinned comment down there for any of you guys that want to get involved with that once you're in make sure you join us in the discord chat and then start going through the hundreds of videos to learn from in course curriculum down there and the plan was to do two hundred dollars off with this particular sale but you know what i said let's do four hundred off so we're doing four hundred off an annual membership that'll be a pinned comment down there looking forward to hopefully having you guys in the group if you're somebody kind of new to the channel you don't know much about the private stock group and you've got questions about it or whatnot just hit me on uh, instagram just send me a dm i get a ton of dms a day i'll try to get back to it um, but it's definitely worth a try okay so first off here the market is just another day in the market another 2,000 points down this has become the norm in the market i don't know if i ever thought i'd see a day when it was normal you know the market would be down 2,000 points but that is the type of market we are in right now we are in a stock market full of panic we are in a stock market full of fear we're in a stock market that is extremely uncertain and and it's just dramatic right now i mean uh, that's the best way to put it it's just a dramatic stock market right now just the dow jones industrial average alone has fallen eight thousand nine thousand points just in the past month like this has been extraordinary like this is this is even more dramatic in my opinion than 2008 2009 market situation because at least that took some time to you know go down this is like we're getting it all at once it's like an avalanche of just bad moves down the stock market all at one time like like this is literally extraordinary it's the only advice i can <laughs> kind of give to you guys out there is make sure you're taking advantage of this this is your your time to be warren buffett okay 2020 is your year to be warren buffett and take advantage of so many great deals that are going to be out there there are countless stocks that are already great deals we're going to get into some of those here today in my opinion and uh there's just there's just going to be a countless uh, i mean a ridiculous amount of deals make 2020 your year you're taking stock market investing super serious that's all i have to say okay don't be that person that, that you know looks back that they had the ability to invest in 2008 2009 and they could have invested but they were like like, ah, it's a great recession. There's so much fear, so much pessimism out there. I don't want to invest. Don't be that person that, you know, cho chooses not to invest, chooses not to take investing serious. This is your year to shine, okay? That's all I got to say, okay? And uh, just so you guys know, always make your own investment decisions. A video like this, I'm kind of serving a purpose to kind of show you guys some stocks. Maybe you want to look into those stocks, research them, read the 10Ks, the 10Qs, kind of listen to conference calls, and maybe research these stocks a little bit more, okay? Let's get into this, guys. So Uber stock, first one up here of the 20 uber stock under 20 bucks i didn't know if i would ever see a day when uber stock was under 20 dollars a share but it is today that is the day okay uber stock is under 20 dollars a share i mean this stock is i mean it's just a tremendous value for anybody that's a long-term investor in my personal opinion you're looking at a company with uber that has obviously the uber side of their business right and you know in almost every single market around the world they're number one number two player and whatever happens here short term is short term the long-term trends of ride sharing and getting rides places like that's not ending like anytime soon this is a long-term trend going uber eats 
obviously a, a huge business in most markets around the world. They're number one, number two. They have a freight side of their business. They just It's just a massive company that is that has innovation at their core. Stock's under 20 bucks. It is a ridiculous steal, in my personal opinion, as somebody that is a long-term investor, okay? Skyworks Solutions, stock number two of the 20 up here. Skyworks Solutions is trading back in the 70s. Another one that I was like, I, I, don't, I wasn't sure if this one would ever hit 70s again, unless something dramatic happened in the stock market. Market. And guess what? Something dramatic has happened in the stock market and Skyworks is back in the 70s and that's the only way this stock could have ever pretty much gotten back to where it is now, okay? This is a stock that is, that is going to likely capitalize on the 5G opportunity in a major, major way. Their content in smartphones is going to go up. When I talk about content, what I'm talking about is essentially how much they get paid for chips in 5G smartphones should be quite a bit more than the 4G phones, you know, the iPhones with Tom Samsung's or whatever maker you want to talk. Those companies are going to have to pay a company like Skyworks more money because the, the chips are just much more valuable to a 5G device than a 4G device. So Skyworks should absolutely be an opportunity uh, with massive growth in 5G. This is definitely a company that I could see over the next five years doubling up their revenues, doubling up their net income, super strong balance sheet, cash loaded, no debt, phenomenal management team. Like, I, I mean, I can't say anything but some extremely positive positive things about Skyworks Solutions, okay? That's stock number two of 20. Stock number three of 20 is my favorite play on restaurants. And honestly, I don't own any fast food stocks. I don't own any restaurant stocks. This one is the only one that actually interests me enough that I'm like, I need to start buying this stock. And it is a company named Texas Roadhouse. Ticker symbol on this one is TXRH. This stock is 37 bucks now. I mean, probably the, I mean, if I'm looking at some of the most well-run big restaurant chains in the world, I cannot find one that is much better than Texas Roadhouse. Like this company's management team is on top of things. They are the creme de la creme when you're talking about restaurant management teams. Their restaurants are almost always packed. Uh, you know, just an awesome place in general. And uh, needless to say, the valuation has gotten really attractive. I mean, under 40 is, uh, in my opinion, kind of like stealing money from a long-term basis, okay? Now, we talked a little bit about some smaller companies there, and I mean, Uber's not that small, but uh, you know, all those companies we just talked about, those first three are all small companies compared to this next one, okay? The next one up here, stock number four of 20, is good old Google McDougal, good old Alphabet, okay? Company that's no longer in the Trillion Dollar Boys Club, but Google, I mean, this stock's down $113 a share today, down over 9%, valuation's extremely interesting, Intriguing on this one, a company that will grow regardless, pretty much regardless, even if there is a recession in the short term. They're, I mean, those are the type of businesses that are, you know, their whole level, their whole other level of strength. When you're looking at something like Google, and this business can likely grow revenues, grow net income in a market that, you know, might be very negative here in the short term. That, that's definitely a company I love. So Google, stock number four of 20, you know, I mean, what can you say about Google? They own Google search, they own YouTube, they own Android. They have a huge cloud business and plus they have a ton of smaller businesses as well. So I mean, wh what else can you say about Google? Unbelievable company. That's why it's number four of 20, okay? Stock number five of 20, this one, it, let me put it simple, okay? CCL, Carnival Corporation. This stock, I mean, if they go bankrupt, obviously, I mean, that would be a bad situation, but I'm not so confident they would go bankrupt. One, they got a lot of cash around. And number two, the Fed has put banks in a position where they almost have to loan, you know, companies money if these companies want money. Like the Fed's putting pressure on the banks. They've even taken off a lot of restrictions to basically, hey, if anybody gets in trouble, you lend them money here in the short term. And Carnival Corporation, if they were to get in financial trouble, which keep in mind, as of the latest quarter, they had over half a billion dollars sitting around in cash. But if they were to get in trouble, I mean, obviously the banks would likely be there to rescue them. And this is a stock that is 15 bucks a share right now. And the flat out honest truth is once everything gets passed, you know, two, three, four years from now, the, the cruise line industry will likely be back to where it just was going into this year and back when it was 2019 and back when it was 2018. So needless to say, I mean, Carnival Corporation, you know, a stock that can likely do $3 to $5 of EPS per year in, in a normal economic environment. And a company has proven they can, you know, hit those type of numbers at $15 a share. 
It's just ridiculous. I mean, that's the only way to put it. It's just ridiculous. Like, look, the stock is literally priced like they will go BK. And I just don't think there's as high of a probability as the market is suggesting with a stock like this, okay? Uh, so need to say that stock number five of the 20. Stock number six of the 20 up here is Qualcomm. Ticker symbol on this one, Qcom, okay? 68 bucks a share. We're talking about probably the most direct beneficiary of 5G technology. Like this company is such a must for 5G technology that Apple dropped all their lawsuits, all the drama, all the legal battles with Qualcomm just because Apple recognized that they need Qualcomm to be successful in 5G. And when you see something like that, you really realize how important a company like Qualcomm really is. And so I'm looking at Qualcomm here, like I said, likely the most direct play on 5G technology, which is gonna be something that takes off over the coming years. And, um, you know, needless to say, <laughs> the valuation has gotten very attractive on that one. Facebook. Facebook's a stock anytime it gets under $200 a share. As a long-term investor, I feel like I'm stealing money. Literally. Like, anytime this stock drops under $200 a share, if somebody like myself has a five-year outlook on this stock, I just feel like I I'm stealing money <laughs> in the end, okay? This stock's $150 a share here today. You're talking about one of the top five balance sheets of any public company in the entire world, okay? Google might have the best. I mean, we can make arguments. Google, Apple, you know, they might have the best. Facebook's one of the top five best balance sheets of any company in the entire world. An unbelievably profitable business model. And guess what? The biggest hang-up for the good old FB, the biggest hang-up for them, the biggest problem they had uh, that was, you know, surrounding the stock was government regulation and government, you know, just looking at them and just observing and just, oh, what's Facebook doing? Are they doing something bad? Blah, 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 right? And guess what? The whole government's attention is no longer on Facebook. There's bigger things. There's bigger fishes to fry, as they can say now, okay? There's bigger stuff going on. So now, the biggest headwind Facebook had just pretty much went away almost overnight. And so now, we, what are you stuck with? A phenomenal company that has the world's attention, has the platforms that are the most important in the entire world, has one of the best balance sheets, unbelievably profitable. And say what you want about the management team, it's one of the best management teams, in my opinion, at the executive level of any public company in the world, okay? And so needless to say, Facebook, for me, is stealing money right now as a long-term investor, okay? Stock number eight of 20 up here is I okay? iRobot Corporation, you guys probably know them from making the Roomba vacuum cleaner. They also make other devices that clean your floors and things like that. Obviously, in a time like this, it's all about cleansiness, right? And iRobot stock has gotten absolutely leveled. I mean, absolutely leveled. Like, this was a stock just, I don't know, probably a year and a half ago. It was like a $120 stock. And here today, it's 37 bucks. I mean, it was already getting leveled before the, the whole dramatic situation in the stock market happened recently, and now it's 37 bucks. Company with a very good balance sheet, a company that's profitable year in and year out. Their, their net income has been trending up. Their revenue has been trending up if you look at the last, you know, 10 years, essentially. Um, so needless to say, iRobot, the valuation's extremely intriguing for someone like myself that is a long-term investor. Investor, okay. Speaking about valuations that are intriguing, winning resorts, which is now called losing resorts here in the short term. We know this one has been absolutely leveled. The stock is $58 a share here today. Las Vegas properties are closed. The Macau properties are open, but you know, they're not doing much business. And so needless to say, Wynn's business model in the short term is messed up and it is messed up bad. Okay. There's no other way of sugarcoating it. Like the short term is bad. But this is not the first rodeo for Wynn Resorts. This is not the first time this business model has been hit. I watched this business model get hit very bad in 2015, going into 2016. Macau slowed down in a massive way. Like, it was bad. We saw this business model get hit nasty style in, in the Great Recession. The stock fell, I believe the stock fell in the Great Recession to the 30s, okay? It was in the 30s. Now, that was way before they had a Boston property. It was before they had two other properties in Macau. So the business was much smaller back then when it hit the 30s, but needless to say, I have seen the stock in the 30s in the past. Here today is 58. Anytime the stock gets under 100 is very, very intriguing to me. I usually start buying it if it gets under 100. And when it gets under 60, I just have to load the boat. It is as simple as that. When Wynn Resorts goes under $60 a share, it is load the boat for me. And uh, literally, I bought this stock as of today. As of I'm recording this video, 
I bought some wind resorts here today and I think I got it at like $57, $58 a share, somewhere around there. And uh, so needless to say, I love that one long term. Fizzy Get Dizzy is stock number 10 of 20 here. If you don't know them, they make many different drink products, but the main one, the, the main cash cow for the business is LaCroix, okay? And it's funny because I bought this stock as kind of a, a recessionary play, a company that would hold up pretty decent in a recession that I thought was a pretty attractive valuation. At 40 bucks, the valuation is extremely attractive. The forward P is extremely attractive. The balance sheet on this company is about as good as you can possibly get in the drink sector. I mean, cash loaded, last time I checked, they had minimal to no debt. And so Fizzy Get Dizzy, phenomenal I mean, at the end of the day like people still need to drink products right and this is why plays like coca-cola and pepsi they still actually hold up pretty decent in a recession scenario if we go into a recession scenario here in the short term which is likely a play like fizz obviously will still be able to benefit still be able to make good money and uh you know fizzy i like that one okay this next one up here this is the most speculative in my opinion of any of the stocks i discuss in this video here today this is the most speculative one it is planet 13 this is stock number 11 of 20. This is a Michael Jackson play, okay? Michael Jackson, he's dancing around, okay? This is a Michael Jackson play, and they have a huge retail establishment here in Las Vegas that I think is, is like a game changer in the space. It is like, it reminds me of Cabela's back when I invested in Cabela's, but just as is playing in the Michael Jackson space. They have another location that's going to open in California at some point this year, and I think long term they could have, you know, 8 to 12 different retail locations across the United States, maybe over the next 5 or 6 years. And so needless to say, I'm I'm very excited about this one. And in terms of the market capitalization for this company, I believe it's around 120 million to 130 million dollars right now for this company, which I think is far too low for the type of growth this company should likely have over the next, you know, half decade to decade. So needless to say, uh, Planet 13 and 91 cents, pretty dang interesting. But that one is the most speculative of any of the stocks mentioned in today's video, okay? Next one up here is Elf on a Shelf. Good old Elf Cosmetics, stock number 12 of 20. I didn't know if I would ever be able to say this stock was a good deal again because it went up so much. And we took some amazing profits in this one in 2019. And I mean some amazing profits. Like it was one of our best stocks of 2019. The gains were, were absolutely astronomical, like, like some of the biggest we've ever gotten. And so in terms of Elf on a Shelf, anytime the stock gets under $10 a share, it, you know, it is very intriguing from a buyer perspective. And at 970, with how successfully they've turned around this business, it's phenomenal. And keep in mind, with a company like Elf, their products are very, very affordable. Like if you wanna spend not that much money, but get great like bang for your buck, Elf on the Shelf is a company like like women go to at the end of the day. Like like almost every woman you could possibly you know talk to that knows about Elf products, they almost all will say, yeah, they're very affordable and they're actually really good quality. And so a company like Elf would likely actually benefit in a major way and get more customers than ever during a recession scenario. So if you're thinking, hmm, if we go into recession, people aren't spending as much money. Let's say that's the scenario, right? A company like Elf on a Shelf could absolutely benefit in a massive way. Because keep in mind, a lot of cosmetics companies, they, a lot of their products can be 30, 50, 70, $100. And I know a lot of my audience is males and you're like, what? People spend that much money on just a little like cosmetics product? Yes, absolutely. Like, like the amount of money spent on cosmetics is astronomically high. It really is. And these are you know products that people come back and they get more and more of over time. So needless to say, Elf on a Shelf, very attractive under $10 a share. Stock number 13 of 20 here is Foot Locker. This is a stock I've been buying very recently and the valuation's gotten extremely intriguing on this one. It's a $22 stock now. The, I mean, the, the Ford P, the current P, dirt cheap. Actually, a really strong balance sheet at this company, over $700 million in cash. A company, I, I love the executive team here. They really understand brands, acquiring new brands, staying up to date, staying current with their business model. So Foot Locker, absolutely love that one. You know, obviously, the, you know, the majority of their stores are where? In malls, and they do have an online Online presence and they do have online brands as well such as East Bay but the majority of their business is derived from mall based retail and if people aren't going to go out shopping here in the short term for the next several weeks or in the next month let's say obviously big negative for Foot Locker here in the short term and their business model is absolutely going to be hit in a major way in the short term long term I love this one I absolutely love this one and the valuation is dirt cheap for anybody that is a long-term investor okay speaking about dirt cheap valuations Revolve Group for a growth company like Revolve that has a phenomenal management team, it's all online based retail. So people can still like order stuff on Revolve and they don't actually have to go to a store or anything. Like for Revolve with the type of growth this company is gonna have over the next five years in my opinion, and maybe even past five years, 
Like, you know, like the valuation is just silly now. I mean, this stock's trading at eight. This stock was an attractive stock even at $13, $14 a share. Never mind, $8 a share. Like, that's just ridiculous. <laughs> like, that's literally just ridiculous. It's just, you know, everything right now is a sell. The market's looking at almost every single stock out there, unless maybe it's Clorox stock, where you know, they sell wipes and stuff like that, right? And like Clorox spray. And then maybe like Clorox stock, almost every single stock in the market right now, the, the, the stock market is saying, let's just throw it out. Let's just throw it out. We don't want it. We don't want it. And if it's a little company like Revolve, they're like, we don't want it. And that's just a stock market for you right now. It's just like sell everything. And that's the way the market's treating things. And when the market gets irrational like that and it's sell everything, that is when it is the most intriguing for somebody like myself that's a buyer of stocks to say, you know what? Let me go ahead and buy some. So Revolve, stock number 14 of 20. That one, uh, the valuation is just getting ridiculous on it. 3M Company, stock number 15 of 20 here. 3M is now $133 stock. It's right around 52 week lows. And uh, I mean, 3M, I mean, it's a phenomenal company. You know, uh, one of those brands or one of those companies that's just known, but if you're an American, like you just know 3M company, uh, phenomenal company, usually a great dividend payer. They, I mean, they're, they're, you know, if you look at their dividend history, it's so consistent. We'll see what happens here in the short term, but phenomenal management team there, but a phenomenal company overall and a ton of products that are absolutely necessary type products in the market. Alrighty guys, now this next stock up, I have never liked this stock. I have never ever liked this stock until now. The stock has been caught in a lot of drama, a lot of self-inflicted wounds, let's put it that way for a company like this. And it's historically a great company. Like another one of those, you know, 3M type companies that just, you, you hear the name, you're like, oh, I know that company. It's a phenomenal company, huge company, right? Never liked this one until now. And it is the Boeing company, okay? Ticker symbol BA on this one. You know, I'll buy almost any asset if the, the price gets attractive enough. And Boeing has gotten attractive enough that I am actually very interested in buying the stock now. It is stock number 16 and 20, because this is stock now trading at a market capitalization of under $80 billion. A company, like you just think about Boeing, right? It's a company that has one main competitor, like one main competitor, and it's Airbus. Like that's their only main competitor in the entire world, right? And so needless to say, like, like I look at Boeing and I'm like, this is a this is a great business model. It's gonna have a lot of negativity in the short term because obviously a lot of you know plane orders could be canceled or pushed out for a few years from now. But it's another one of those stocks that if you look at it from a longer term investor standpoint. At this valuation at 136 bucks a share, it is extremely, extremely intriguing. And you wanna know another one. How about another one of those stocks that has never interested me until now? And that is Hawaiian Holdings Company. Ticker symbol on this one is ha, 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 or just ha. Okay, this is stock number 17 to 20, Hawaiian Holdings Company. Obviously, this is an airline company, you know, transporting passengers as well as cargo to Hawaii and through the islands. And, you know, somebody could look at this right now and say, nobody's taking trips to Hawaii. Fair, fair. You know, the vacations to anywhere is like non-existent right now. Obviously, cruise lines are shut down for 30 days. You know, the whole Las Vegas Strip is essentially shut down for the next, uh, you know, few weeks to maybe month, right? No one's taking vacations to Hawaii right now. That's perfectly fine. That's why this stock has dropped so much, okay? I mean, and I think it's dropped too much. But keep in mind, this was a stock that was $31 just in the past 52 weeks. It's $11 today. It's $11 today. So this is a company that had a market capitalization of you know 1.5 billion plus at some point this year, and now it's 500 million. Like when the valuations get this compelling on some of these companies, like you know even though they, they, they've been stocks that have never interested me in the past, sometimes some of these stocks actually interest me a lot, okay? That's why Hawaiian Holdings is stock number 17 of 20 there, okay? Stock number 18 of 20 is Octavision Blizzard. Ticker symbol this one is ATVI, the biggest pure play in video games. It's as simple as that, okay? And gosh, I mean, if everybody can't go to work for the next few weeks, the next month, shoot, what the heck are we gonna do? I guess we can watch YouTube and we can play some video games, okay? And uh, Activision Blizzard, definitely a, a, you know, a great company. They own some of the best brands in the world, you know, Call of Duty brand, the Blizzard brand, obviously the Activision side of their business, the King Digital side of their business that makes games like Candy Crush, Candy Crush Soda Saga, you know, Farm Heroes, a lot of those, those games that are just, you know, huge money makers on mobile devices, uh, so Activision Blizzard, phenomenal company, very well run, $53 stock right now. And so that's a stock that definitely interests me a lot right now, okay? And uh, this next stock up here, stock number 19 to 20, I'm sure a lot of you guys were wondering, 
if this stock would make the list, and I know you're, you're, you're curious on what this stock could be, and you're probably thinking, I don't know, I don't know what this stock could be, and um, the valuation has actually gotten compelling on this one, and it is good old Tesla my Esla stock. So, Tesla my Esla, okay? This is a stock that has fallen quite dramatically recently. It's a stock in the 400s now. And as somebody like myself that has a bullish thesis on this stock, that this stock will be, you know, a multi-thousand dollar stock in the next five or 10 years. Like, uh, you know, $460 is pretty dang compelling when you're somebody like myself that thinks a stock will be a $3,000 stock in, you know, five or seven years from now, needless to say. So 461, pretty dang attractive. Arguably the strongest balance sheet of, of any auto player out there, which is funny to say when in regards to Tesla, but they've raised so much money over like the past like six to nine months. Plus, they've gotten the business model closer and closer to profitability, and actually the last few quarters have been profitable quarters, that the balance sheet is arguably the best of any public company out there. And so needless to say, Tesla under 500, intriguing valuation for anybody that has a longer term outlook, guys. So I know a lot of you Tesla shareholders are wondering what I would say about that one, and if it would make the list, so make sure you smash that thumbs up button, okay? And uh, stock number 20, I'm gonna leave that to you guys. I don't wanna hear from you in that comment section. I gave you guys 19 stocks. Give me one stock that in your opinion, I should be taking a close look at right now and uh, I should dissect in a stock that you think I, I should maybe be buying out there. So let me know in the comments section, that one is for you guys, okay? By the way, don't forget, if you wanna get in the private group, we got that huge deal going on here today that's gonna be a pinned comment down there. I think that sale's good for the next, I don't know, 24, 48 hours or something like that. So that'll be the pinned comment down there. Once you get into the course curriculum, join us in the Discord chat, the link is right there. And uh, say hello to everybody and make sure you introduce yourself and make sure you guys absolutely get the most out of that group and you learn as much as possible and also reach out to me if you have any questions in regards to any of the lessons thank you for watching and have a great day